What's up guys, Brandon back in our video from Brandon Outdoors YouTube channel. Today, I'm out here shooting my crossbow yet again, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to try to make some a lot more consistent videos for you guys, because uh, I don't know. I just feel like making a lot more videos. And uh, I'm going to try to grow the channel where I can get monetized. But uh, we got quite a few uh, bolts out here today we're going to shoot. And uh, obviously, if, if you guys see my last video... I obviously need to have some practice at range just so I have confidence out at range if I do need to take those shots. Say I make a bad shot at close range, I can reach out and touch them, put a second one in them. And there's a cat. Hi, how you doing? Not my cat. I don't know what cat that is. Never seen it before. But we are sitting at 57 yards and uh, I aim for the heart on the target just like usual. And we're going to see what we can do. I don't know where that hit, but it didn't look like it hit too bad, even though I can't really see it. Just the way it flew, it looked pretty good. By the way, that last arrow that I just shot actually had a little bit of blood on it from last year. Must have shot a doe with it or something. The um, green knocked arrows. Oh, God. There's a pile of ants in my boots. Oh, oh well, but the green knocked arrows are from last year, so a couple of them might have blood on it. Actually, um, this one has a little bit of blood on it too, as you can see on the white fletch. But uh, anyway, these uh, red fletch or red knocked arrows are new ones, so they're the ones I'm going to be hunting with more than likely. Same range, 57 yards. I just hit the other arrow. We gotta go down and look at that. Well, guys, as you can see, I made an oopsie. I was using the wrong pin again. <laughs> uh, we're off to a good start. But, uh, yeah, this is the one that I said hit pretty good. The other one hit below the target. That's why it sounded weird. Hopefully it didn't break, but uh, we'll pull them out and, uh, yeah, use the right pin this time. <laughs> good thing I caught it now instead of later. Unfortunately, this bolt, I don't think I'm going to be able to use anymore. But, it was my own stupid fault, so I uh, can't blame anybody but myself. But we're still going to keep shooting, and uh, <clears throat> I really got to knock that into my head that 60 yards is the fourth pin, and not the third. So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep shooting. Alright, hopefully we can do a little bit better now. This is getting expensive, just target practice, and I'm losing a lot of arrows. Or bolts, ruining them or something. But it's no one's fault but mine, so. Alright. I felt really good about that shot. And it looks like I hit the bottom of the heart. Not sure that one hit. By the way, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'm try I'm hopefully gonna try to make some a lot more consistent videos for you guys, and maybe with a little bit of luck, I can reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. It's my goal, but it's a long shot. So if you guys have any friends that you could share out the stream to, or have a platform that you guys can share me out on, be much appreciated. But uh, let's go ahead and take another shot. Also, if there's any videos that you guys would really like to see, 
let me know in the comments and I will we'll do my best to make them. But as you guys know, ammo is pretty hard to find nowadays. Ow. So, uh, I don't know about shooting videos, at least not rifles. Maybe shotguns, maybe. But uh, if you guys want to see any of those types of videos, let me know in the comments. and Or actually, any type of video. Just let me know. I know here in about three weeks, I'm going to start making some deer hunting content, hopefully. Alright, last shot for this group. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, so this is pretty interesting. We have three relatively good shots and three relatively bad shots and the thing is that they're not like, there's two different types of arrows and they're mixed like here there's two red ones and a green one and over there there's two green ones and a red one so it's a little weird but uh i guess that means we're gonna shoot 60 again all right another shot Damn. I'm going to already tell you guys before I'm going down and looking at this, this group, it's not going to be the best. By the way, I flipped the target around. I don't know if I said that already or not. But I can already tell you it's not going to be the best of groups. I'm going to have to try to find a rest to get a little bit better of a group. I felt really good about that last shot though. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get a rest. But I'm going to go with majority of the group and say that that's pretty good. But we still got to get all three of those together. I don't know if this is going to do much better. I know I should be getting better groups offhand. But I don't know if it's me or not. So we're going to go ahead and shoot this on a nice steady rest now. It might be that the three arrows have to keep not getting consistent groups. It might just be that they're bad arrows. Or bolts, whatever. But... Now I should definitely be able to get a consistent group. Yeah, see that one? I seen it. That one... I was holding dead on and I know it hit to the left. It hit way to the left. I'm pretty sure I didn't flinch, but I'm gonna assume that I did and we'll keep shooting. See, that one flew off the left, too. I don't know if it's the way the bow's sitting or what, but the last two shots have hit to the left. I've seen them.
that one hit pretty good. Just to test my theory a little bit, if there's three good shots and three bad shots, I'm going to reshoot the three good shots, go down, check them, and then reshoot the three bad shots and just see if they stay good and stay bad. That one also hit pretty good. Alright, now this is the last shot for this group. They just all fell and it actually looks like a pretty good group. The target just fell down. Perfect timing. It's not really that good. And that's pretty bad because it's with a really nice rest. But we're just going to keep shooting until those groups tighten up. Like, And yeah, I know the arrows look like they're a lot crooked. Like really crooked. But it's because the target kept moving after every shot. So, yeah, we're going to really try to tighten up those groups all right I did go ahead and move my bow a couple clicks to the right but that kind of suspicious cuz at 30 yards the bows dead on but at 60 it's shooting to the left so um, my scope might be crooked so we're gonna have to shoot this at 60 again hopefully it gets more consistent and then we're gonna move back up to 30 yards and see if uh, if it's shooting to the right now because if it is then that means my scope is definitely crooked but for now we're going to go ahead and shoot these six shots right at the bullseye it's actually 58 yards but call it 60 And yes, I'm taking a lot, a lot of time between shots because I'm really trying to get those consistent groups now. I'll try to edit it down a little bit to where it's not so long between shots, but I'm really trying to concentrate on making the perfect shot. That way I know it's not me. There's a damn fly on my arrow. Get out of here. All right, I'm gonna leave that in because why not? But uh, yeah, here we go. That felt so perfect, and I think it hit pretty good too. Alright, I'm convinced now. I have three good and three bad arrows. As you can see, those are my three good ones. Yes, they're still crooked, but that's because the target was moving after every shot. And three bad ones. So, I'm pretty certain that we got a pattern here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, just to test my theory, we're going to reshoot the th three good ones and the three bad ones in separate groups. And we're going to see if they stay the same. Or if it was me, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't me. Alright, so up first we got the good arrows, my good three shots, 
we're gonna go ahead and shoot them and if they're good then we're gonna go ahead and shoot the three that weren't so good last time that one looked money shot number two also felt pretty good. Might have been a smudge to the left, I think is when I pulled the trigger. It might have been a smudge to the left. Alright, last shot for the good group. Alright, let's go check it out. Alright, so I would say that the uh, good group kept its group and stayed good, so I'm going to grab the other three and shoot them and see if they stay bad or if they get good. Alright, here's the first shot of the three that didn't hit so good on that one group. Shot number two. All right. All right, last shot. All right, let's go check it out. All right, I think I figured out why my groups weren't staying good. I took just as much careful time aiming on these shots as I did the other three and as you can see the only the one is really probably gonna make an ethical kill on a deer so yeah that's not good so we're gonna go ahead and put those air those bolts off to the side and stick with the other three cuz uh, I definitely don't want to be using them in the woods All right, so we went ahead and moved back into 30 yards. It's actually 31 yards. But uh, we moved back into 31 yards, and uh, I'm going to use my three good arrows and make sure that my bow is still sighted in because I did adjust it at 60. But we're going to go ahead and make sure my bow is still hitting pretty good at 30. Oh, man, I hit the bullseye. Let's go. Shoot the other two and. Um, I'm going to go in and get a sharpie and go ahead and mark the best ones. Shot number two. That one was a little bit to the right, but it's still right in there. Alright, last shot for this group. Again, a little bit to the right, but still right in there. I'm going to go get a marker and we're going to go ahead and mark those arrows. Alright, so from the angle I was at, it looked like this one hit the bullseye, but it didn't. But yeah, I would say my scope is definitely a little bit crooked. But uh, it's not off that much that I would really want to mess with it. Um, and any of those are still killing a deer, like there's no question about that. I would definitely say it's off a little bit, because um, I'm still hitting a little right at... Well, actually I'm pretty dead on at 60, but yeah, it's, it's definitely a little bit crooked. But we're going to go ahead and mark these. One, two, and three, and uh, we'll shoot the bad ones just for shits and giggles to see if what they do at 30 yards. All right, now these were the three that were shooting a little wonky, but uh, we're going to see if it was just because it was at longer range or if it was just the arrow, but either way, they're not going in my quiver. Oh, that one hit pretty dead center, so I don't know. Shot number two. That first one hit pretty dead center. So uh, we'll, we'll keep them separate. These, the good and the, what I call the good and the bad. We'll keep them separate. And uh, I'm tr gonna tr really try to make more consistent content for you guys, even though if it is repetitive and the same stuff over and over again. But uh, I'm gonna try to make four videos, a, four to five videos a week for you guys. That's pushing it, but I'm gonna for sure try to make three, even if they're just crossbow shooting videos. 
that one also hit pretty damn good. I don't know, guys. We might have some decisions to make. All right, just the last shot. So far, we I think we've hit the bullseye every time. This is shot three for three. That one didn't hit the bullseye. That also could have been me. It's the angles messing with me. It looked like they both hit the bullseye, but the one definitely did. Right there, that one. So that's a little strange. They actually, these two actually hit better than the three good ones. So I don't know. Maybe it's just these ones don't do very good at long range, but theoretically, 60 yards isn't ideal for bow hunting. 30 is. So, I mean, we might be good with these arrows, but for sure I'm going to keep those other ones in my quiver for now. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to make more consistent videos for you guys, so we can, uh, work with them a little bit more and see if maybe it was, maybe there was some wind or something that was knocking these ones off. It would be really, uh, coincidental if they did. But, uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, share. I'll see you in the next one.